This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Leeds. I'm just joined by the victorious O'Hara Davis. Seventh round knockout. Talk me through that, O'Hara. Yeah, it was a good fight. Um, you know what? Can I just can I be honest? I haven't fought. Well, I haven't fought in a while. I was a bit nervous going into this fight. I mean, I was a bit nervous going. Into, I was a bit nervous going into this fight. Um, I need to be active again. I need to be more. I need to be a lot more active, like I was at the start of my boxing career. Now I'm fighting twice a year. Last year I fought once, but the guys at Pro Bellum they got it on lock. So, you know, as soon as this is done, I'm going right to them. When is the next fight? I want to fight again this year, maybe twice if I can. Nah, actually, no. Nah, I think once this year we'll do. But yeah, I want to fight again this year, and these guys are the ones to make it happen. We'll talk about that in a second, but feel a little bit nervous and, and rusty at the start? Yeah, I feel a bit rusty and um, a bit nervous, just because I'm not as active as I was in the past. So now I need to get it on again. You know, I had a bit of, I had a bit of time off. I've been going through a lot in my personal life. I've been having to deal with a few things and get to know and find myself. And um, everything happens for a reason. And um, I'm thankful to be where I'm at now. So, OD's back, baby. Well, from the kind of the fourth, fifth onwards, it seemed like you were landing more cleaner shots. Yeah. And you were getting into it more. So you got the knockout. That's the main yeah. positive thing from tonight. And some rounds banked. Yeah, I think I've got the ring rust off. You know, I had my coach, Will Jones. He was in the corner shouting, be more busy, be more busy, give me the right game plan and the right instructions. Did I follow it 100%? I don't think I did. Um, but I got the win in decent fashion. I'm a lot better than that. And and you guys will see that in my next fight. Will, what was going wrong at the start, in your opinion? Just, um, just a, he's, listen, he started the fight perfect, just as I asked. Stick to the jab, keep the guy at bay, because I don't think there's many people in his division that's got his reach. <clears throat> just wanted that next phase, that second phase, that lighten up the jab a bit and then put the right in. It happened, we, we dropped him, he dropped him with a left hook, that left body left dead worked an absolute beautiful. And then, um, cheers mate, thank you. And then, uh, yeah, we, then he, he, he dropped down and then I uh, just had to give him a little bit of a bollocking in the corner and he done it. He done, done what we asked and that's just what happened, it was perfect. Very happy with Mi amigo aquí quiere vaseline. What? How do you want, yeah? I speak Spanish, you know, I learned, I've been learning Spanish. <laughs> and his subtitles and that nah, one? No, I've got this app on my phone, Duolingo, so I've been using that maybe five or ten minutes a day. I can speak it good, very good. You know, I got a quick fight to Spain on Monday. <laughs> five guys tomorrow first? Yep, 100%. Five the guys, the Chinese, the Indian, all of it. Apple crumble? I've got that at the hotel waiting <laughs> for me. <laughs> okay, so what do you want next? Martin, um, Ritson, what do you want? I don't know, man. I don't know because obviously the WBA... Um, have made me and Sandra Martin fight in a final eliminator for the world title and to win a world title is my goal, my dream ever since I got into boxing. Lewis Ritson fights there but if I fight him it'll be for no belt but then again he has got a top 10 ranking hasn't he? I don't know who he's ranked in, I know he's got a top 10 ranking somewhere so if I go down that route I get myself in a WBA spot which I'm there now and I get myself in whatever belt he's in the top 10 in. So, Everything, but I think Sandal Martin makes more sense because he's a final eliminator. But at the end of the day, it's a business to come down to who pays more money. It, it, I mean, that's what I come down to. I'm a prize fighter at the, at the end of the day, and you know, I'm 30 years old, I'm gonna be boxing for the rest of my life. So, it's my give me the check. Um, I'm sitting down with them both, see who gives me the most money, and probably do that really. I forgot the question. <laughs> yeah, what was, what, what, what was, what was uh, Ritson's old man saying to you today? Mm. You're dead. <laughs> 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 I see him his dad a bit earlier. He was like, you know what, Hara, I come to watch you fight. He's such a nice man, polite man. You know, I say what I say about Lewis Richardson and, and, and all these fighters. They're all good guys. I like Lewis Richardson. I never met him in person before, but I know I know that he's a nice guy. Like, a lot of this stuff I say online, you know what I mean? It hypes up and gets the fans into it. But, mate, I like Lewis Richardson. I like his dad. Tommy Cole's dad that I met him once. Uh, I know he died the other day, RIP. I met his dad, all these guys, they're all good guys. Tommy Cole's a good guy. Even though it was through him that I got thrown under the bus, it wasn't his fault. I like, I, I do like all these guys. And, um, you know, Lewis Dixon's dad just come up to me like, after the fight, let's go sit down and have a chat. So that's what I might do if he's still here in the morning. Sit down, have a chat with him, see what's there. You say you like these guys. I don't think you like Sandor Martin's promoter very much. Listen, Sandor oh, Martin's I don't like. Don't, don't Listen, like no. This. All those years ago, do you know, Eddie Hearn threw me under the bus. And a lot of boxing fans say, oh, OD, just get over it. It's all those years ago. No. I bet if you got thrown under the bus, if you was innocent, if you didn't say anything wrong, and the whole world, the whole boxing world went and they mistook your words and they threw you under the bus, 
you got banned from the gym. I got taken off a show. And some people say I got thrown under the bus. Other people say that I got hung out to dry. But listen, man, that's one thing I'm not over. I'm not over, and boxing's fancy, I should get over it. Yeah, it's a lot easier saying to me that I should get over it, but how about if you got thrown under the bus, or if your kid got thrown under the bus, like I did? I'm very angry, very, very angry. Okay, well, listen, well done on your knockout win tonight. If it's Sandor Martin next... And he knows I was innocent. He knew I was innocent. Why did you ask him this? No, he Why knew I was you innocent. You know what, sometimes I sit down at night and I still think about it. It gets me very angry. Maybe I'll take the Sandor Martin fight. <laughs> Okay, well, it's Martin next or Ritson, it's going to be a mega fight. Sandal so, Martin. so uh, okay, you said the, the name you want. Thanks. OD. Thanks. OD. Manager Umar has just made the decision for him. Sandal Martin. OD, well done tonight, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll speak to you soon, all right? Thank Thanks, you. guys. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Day. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.